ఏ స్టాండర్డ్ సోషల్ సైన్స్ చాప్టర్ త్రీ ఏన్షియంట్ ఇండియన్ సివిలైజేషన్స్ సింధు సరస్వతి సివిలైజేషన్ అండ్ వేదిక్ సివిలైజేషన్ ఫస్ట్ మెయిన్ ఫిల్ ఇన్ ద బ్లాంక్స్ విత్ సూటేబుల్ వర్డ్స్ ద స్క్రిప్ట్ ఆన్ ద సీల్స్ ఆఫ్ సింధు సరస్వతి సివిలైజేషన్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ పిక్చర్ స్క్రిప్ట్ ది ఇంపార్టెంట్ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ సీ ట్రేడ్ డ్యూరింగ్ సింధు సరస్వతి సివిలైజేషన్ వాస్ Lothal, the place which had the best practice of rainwater management during this civilization, Dholavira. Second mean, answer the following questions in brief. How were the baths constructed during Sindhu Saraswati civilization? an open bath built with bricks and precautions were taken to ensure the structure was leak proof stairs are located at two sides of the tank which has rooms built all around perhaps the water to this tank was supplied from a nearby well and the water was drained out after usage how was the township construction done in sindhu saraswati civilization two or more divisions can be seen in harappan towns the western parts are smaller but elevated astrologists call it fort the eastern parts are generally wide and low lying they are called villages every division had a wall of burnt clay bricks constructed around it the bricks were laid in an interlocking fashion which had ensured that such walls were stronger the usage of burnt clay bricks indicates the advancement of the civilization list out the traces found to know about the cultural details of sindhu saraswati civilization the artifacts found are mostly metal and precious stones beads and seals are found in large quantities pots with various designs are also found bangles made of metals and shell material are found vrushabha is one of the most important figures found on seals of those times with leaf of the sacred fig tree being another prominent figure on the seals several idols with different yoga and namaskara postures are also seen explain the economic condition during sindhu saraswati civilization Sindhu Saraswati population were dependent on farming and trading wheat barley and pulses were their primary crops hunting and fishing were also vastly practiced cotton farming was done to manufacture textiles they were involved in rearing of cattle including bull cow buffalo and sheep goat and poultry oxen were used to plow the fields commerce and trading were equally important to them urban centers used to trade with countryside and foreign nations analyze the social political religious and economic system of pre vedic and post vedic period pre vedic period purusha sukta that appears in the 10th mandala of rigveda refers the varna system in society 
There were four varnas existed in the society. They were Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, Shudras. The varnas were decided on the basis of profession, not by birth. Women had equal status in the society. King was termed as Rajan. The king was assisted by Sabha, Samiti and Vidata. Widow marriage was in practice. The main occupation was animal husbandry and farming. Post Vedic period, a person's caste was determined by birth. The caste system became more complex. Women did not have equal status in the society. During this period, they used to do yajnas and yagas. Vidat was disappeared. Widow marriage system was banned. Dowry system, parda system, and child marriage came into existence. Agriculture became the main occupation rather than hunting and animal husbandry.